People of God, some of you are aware that a number of years ago I had major heart valve replacement surgery. And one of the most painful experiences of my life was that first night coming out of surgery. I had an incredible thirst. And throughout the night I would cry out to the nurse and beg her to bring me ice chips. It was by far the longest night of my life. Now think about it for a moment. Oftentimes the dying words of soldiers on the battlefield are the words, I thirst. That is how unbearable it is. This is what St. John uh, tells us about Jesus' crucifixion. After this, aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. He cried out, I thirst. That is how unbearable his pain was on the cross. But here's the difference between Jesus' cry, I thirst, and our cry, I thirst. Jesus does not ask for a drink of earthly water. No. That is not what he meant, but rather he asks for a drink of love, our love. I thirst for love. In other words, Jesus thirsts for our response to the outpouring of his life. How are we going to respond? We are the only ones who can satisfy the incredible thirst that God has for our response, for our return in love. And so the first and the greatest commandment is to love the Lord our God with our whole heart, soul, strength, and mind, that God thirsts for our complete and total devotion to him, that we are to live for him and for him alone. He awaits our response. He thirsts for our response. People of God, my blessing is being your pastor now and for many years to come. God bless.